Hello guys, this is Roy69501. Welcome to my channel. The comic book I'm going to display, it was published back in 1995 and it's Wonder Woman 1 issue 101. And it's the beginning a bold new era for Wonder Woman. This is the issue when John Byrne or John Byrne took over. Check out that part. I'm going to show you some pages on the inside. Look at that. Check out this one here. So, I'm going to put it here. There. So, on this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, Airsville. <coughs> Come here. The one I'm going to be talking is Kingdom Come, was published back in 1996 and it was written by Mark Wade and the art by Alec Ross. He was a big time artist back in the, in the 90s. He was really good. Here's issue number one. And the back cover. Issue number two. The back cover. Issue number three. The back cover. And issue number four. The back cover. But before I start talking about Kingdom Come, I'm gonna say that the story doesn't end on issue number four. It continues two years later. So in 1998 was published, which is a comic book which I don't have. It's called God. That's it. G O G. God issue number one. It's a one shot. And then after that, it came uh, another, after that issue was published, they published another art, which is called The Kingdom. So, which happened to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven issues. Although, like I said on my, maybe I said on my previous video, that the kingdom is not labeled as an actual comic book. So, or they either, they forgot, I don't know what was the reason for it. But that is just beside the point. The thing about, I'm going to talk now about kingdom come. Love this this color. Look at it. Look at it. The thing about Kingdom Come is it tells the story about that Superman retired. Well I'm gonna start a little bit from the beginning. This old man here, and he happens to be like a preacher on a church, the specter, as you can see here, approached him and he started to take him back and forth in time. And he's telling the story about what happened to the superhero. Because I'm not going to tell you too much about it because I don't want to spoil it because bottom line this is an excellent story believe me this is so good so I'm afraid if I mention something I might spoil it one thing for sure uh, one thing I can say is that 
you are not going to get boring reading it. Maybe the beginning you might be like a little bit lost, like okay, what's going on? But once you start getting to the story that I have for the first issue, you start to to uh, realize how good is the story. So what I'm gonna say is that. All the, all the superheroes retired because the first one that retired was Superman and Superman retires because on this universe uh, they were coming out a new breed of metahumans which are human beings with superpowers and some of them there were villains and some of them there were superheroes but those new metahuman superheroes they have no rules they act more as vigilantes more than a superhero because you know that the superheroes, they have rules, they don't kill, and they have their own rules, they go by the law, and all that. Vigilantes, no, they don't. They go after the bad guy, if they have to kill him, they kill him. So people for some reason they begin to like more the metahumans than the classic superhero. And Superman, uh, he went to the government and they uh, he told whoever he had to say that not to trust the metahumans. But for some reason they didn't listen to Superman. So Superman he got frustrated and retired to his farm. That was it. So the specter approached the old man here on the cover and started to tell him the story. He goes back in time and start telling him the story of why Superman retired about the metahumans and what happened to Kansas. Now what, what I will tell you about what happened to Kansas on the story is, as far as I will know, that I will go, is that Kansas is wiped out. That's it. There's no more Kansas. Not even the name is left. Some big explosion. Superman's wife died. It doesn't say here who's his wife, but I believe that is Louis Lane. And Superman parents died of that explosion, plus millions of people. That was after he retired. So in a way, Superman feels responsible because if he will not retire, probably he will avoid it, that catastrophe in Kansas. I mean, the whole state is gone. I mean, the land is there, but there's nothing left. So, the metahumans, on the story you get to see all the superhero in a very old age. You get to see also Bruce Wayne's son. Yes, plus as good grandson. Also you get to see Lex Luthor. You get to see what happened to Bruce Wayne when we get to older age. 
you get to see Shazam more older and the thing is that from the beginning you start wondering why the specter approached the old man from the beginning you are like okay you just you start to to think that the specter went to the to the old man because he was a creature a true believer he owns I mean he owns he has his own church and he preached God gospels I think he's I pronounce it correctly so I once on his preach uh, one day he was preaching as he do every Sunday and he started preaching something different what he was used to preach so his followers start to wondering what happened to him at that moment the specter shows up and you start to wonder why the specter shows up to the old man and you see this, the specter telling the story to the old man and going through time taken to different time of different situations and telling him the story and the old man start and he's full of questions which the specter never answered to him because the old man thinks that the specter is an angel sent by God but he's not and you start to see some superheroes start to to start to join Lex Luthor and you get to see Shazam and you can see here that you get surprised of what he does And then the last issue here it was so good because the end of this last issue you get to you will understand why the specter approached the old man and believe me it's a good story it's an excellent story you are not gonna get bored you're gonna love the art I mean I'm gonna show you some some art on the inside look at that And I'm not gonna say too much because I just I just say a little bit of everything about the story because yeah if I will continue talking I will ruin it for you because if some of you get interested of, of reading Kingdom Come I don't want to ruin it because this is a excellent story now after you finish reading this the whole four issues in 1998 they published God issue number two uh, issue number one it's a one shot comic book in that issue according to the storyline it happens several years after this one now this story have supposed to be uh, elsewhere which which do not affect the DC Comics continuity back in the 90s but in that issue God number one 
which I don't have it, which I don't know why. Maybe I got it misplaced in one of my of my boxes. I don't know. I have to search for it. If not, I guess I have to get it on on eBay. Well, anyway, in God number one, it tells you the story of God, which that person named God happens to be this guy on the cover. The guys with the horn and the staff. Now it's not the devil. Now in that issue number one it tells you the story that because when the explosion happened, when there was a big disaster in Kansas, uh, this guy, God, when he was the sole survivor of the whole population of Kansas. And he opens, and he was saved by Superman, which on he on he on the on this comic book you can see. I don't know which which part is, but it shows you the moment that Superman saves the kid. That he approached the kid and saved him. Which you start to to wonder who's that kid? Which you don't know anything until you you read God number one. And so I can find it here. is a uh, is here this is this it's one of these issues I don't know if uh, it is if it is a full panel or a small panel but it will show you it will show you Superman landing in front of the kid that's it which once if you the ones that you read read God you will see it it would remind you of Kingdom Come. And then after that, to uh, the same year, 1998, they come, they publish the Kingdom. Which, I'm going to start reading this one, and I will make a video, which this happens to be the third part, of the saga of the kingdom come because the result of this issue of this storyline a super villain is born named God and this is the last so on this storyline is the end of God tells you the story of what he's doing and then and why he's doing what he was doing and the reason why. So my next video I'm gonna be telling I'm gonna be talking about Kingdom Storyline. And I will talk a little bit more about God issue number one. It's a one shot. But like I said before this is good. This is good. This is one of the best stories that I ever read back in the 90s. After the death of Superman, because you got everything here. It's so good.
and you will understand everything because over here there's one character that is the key from the whole story and you will find out because the story doesn't tell you directly doesn't tell you well this person is the key for that you have to figure it out for yourself because the way that the specter is telling the story is not telling the story kind of like tell you like half of the story and the other half you have to figure it out that's what that's how this story is being written and Mark way he was a genius writing this he was a genius and I know that Kino Tom is on trade paperback so you want if you want to read something really really good read Kingdom Come but before you read it you better take a glass or whatever like soda, wine or a drink put on some some music relax and start to read it because you have to really get into the story because it's not because the way that it's done the story tells you like 70 75% of I mean when you are reading you just read 75% of the whole story the other 25% is visual that means that you have to read and look at each panel that you look at the art the way that it was done it's great it's great well guys I hope that you like the video if some of you decide to read Kingdom Come Kingdom Come I hope that you really like it the way I really like this story and like I said on my next video I'm going to be talking about Kingdom the seven comic book and I will be talking a little bit, bit more about God issue number one well guys I hope that you like the video till next time bye